Thank you, David. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As David mentioned, connected services give us an opportunity to add value back into our customers. And I'm going to take about 15 minutes of your time to give you examples on how we do that. Essentially, connected services give us the ability to take the richness of an on-premise application and combine it with the reach of a web-based service. Richness of an on-premise application includes things like audit control, control of your data locally, ability to configure your workflow in a certain way, ability to customize your solution. And the reach of web-based services allow our customer to outsource critical business processes outside their four walls. Our customers are our greatest asset, and we have over six million of them. Through the strategy, we have a unique ability and a competitive advantage to, take this, to bring these web services to their desktop without disrupting their desktop, without disrupting their workflow, and without disrupting um, their investments. So our customers can continue to use the on-premise products that they've used for all these years and are often very familiar with, while being able to take critical business processes, like maybe launching a marketing campaign on the web, or looking at a sales prospect list, making payments, processing payroll over the cloud. Some of the examples that uh, David mentioned on uh, existing connected services are shown here on the screen. Sales and marketing services, data protection services, tax compliance services. You'll hear a little later about healthcare services, shopping cart services, et cetera. This strategy scales across our broad and vibrant ecosystem. This ecosystem consists of accountants, partners, and more relevant here, our ISVs and our third-party developers. As David said, we don't have to be limited by the services that Sage builds. In fact, in many ways, we will turn to our service providers who are experts in this and oftentimes complete that last mile to the customer's test stop. Since these products will work across services, and several of these services scale across geographies, it's imperative that we have a standard way to interface all Sage products. With the use of SData as an example, which is our web protocol, we are able now to describe the Sage products so that our own developers or our third-party service providers can easily write services to this desktop. SData is a web protocol based on HTTP and Atom and being consistently used across all the Sage geographies, making it easier and more seamless from a customer uh, experience perspective. Let's switch gears and talk about how do we deploy these services? How do customers access these services? Or as the technical term goes, how are these services provisioned? There, there are numerous ways to do that. The most popular way that we are adopting, and several of our products uh, will, will demonstrate, is have this uh, experience right within the product. So for example, what you see here is a screen from uh, Sage Peachtree, where right from the product, the customer can now go and access services such as payments backup analytics. We call the screen a Peachtree Resource Center, and in some ways is an in-product marketplace. We've added some intelligence within Peachtree, a technology we call Sage Advisor, where we can demonstrate or we can provision these services based on customer usage. So now if we see that customers typically have a high volume of data, when they come to the screen, they will see the availability of a backup uh, service, as an example. If we see customers are using a credit card while taking orders, we can uh, provision a payment service. If we see customers using uh, reporting quite frequently, we can show them uh, our analytics service. Thus making it very simple for customers and sort of blurring that gap between this complex web technology and the simple desktop that they've been used to. Once again, combining the richness of an on-premise app with the reach of a connected service. Quickly, I'll step through a couple more examples. In Germany, in our GS Office professional product, once again, right within the product, we're provisioning services in this example, the Sage Security Center and online backup service. In Spain, the Sage Conta Plus product, very similar experience of having these services served right through the product, thus, once again, blurring that gap. As we start gaining critical mass with these services, you can expect us to then have richer marketplaces or app stores, as they are called. Or in some cases, we may have direct access to a website. Regardless, over the next coming years, you'll see us continue to invest in this initiative, where the heart of which lies a customer experience that needs to be seamless. 
Let me try and recap this in a single slide, if I may. What you see at the bottom of your screen are the Sage products that you're probably used to and accustomed with. On the entry level, these are products like Sage Act, Sage Peachtree, Sage CL, Sage 50. In the mid-market, you have Sage Pack, Sage uh, ERPX3, Sage 200. We have our vertical products. And what my colleagues are going to share with you in a few minutes is our online products, such as Sage One, can exist uh, in, in this paradigm, collaborating with connected services using very standard integration metaphors like S-Data. So the connected services you see here will integrate with those relevant products for those relevant markets seamlessly. Right? So what I'm going to do, the proof is in the pudding, is I'm actually going to uh, do a demonstration for you. We're going to do a demonstration of uh, the ACT product, and the two services that will be showcased here are Sage Business in, uh, Info Services for ACT and Sage eMarketing for ACT. And I'd like to introduce to you uh, Larry Ritter, who's actually going to walk you through this demo on you know, uh, an experience that a Sage customer will have uh, using the ACT product with connected services. Over to you, Larry.